We want to talk food. We know who the guy is to turn to, Joe Riccio. He is a writer, personal chef, host of the Food Coma podcast, and someone who knows Maine restaurants inside and out. Thanks for joining. Good to have you here, as always. Always good to be here. <laughs> so we were trying to come up with a good topic to rattle around in our brains, yeah. and the idea came up for classic Maine restaurants, yeah. places that have been around for decades, but are still on the top of their game. Yeah, exactly. And I think that, like, you know, the term classic, it's very subjective. It's like there are a million classic restaurants in Maine and in, in people's minds. It's all very much based on a lot on nostalgia and a lot on just kind of like for me, places I've been going for a long time in different phases of my life. I mean, that was, I mean, how do you choose yeah, six we're not, restaurants? We're not saying that these are the six best classic Her restaurants, usual. but we're just yeah. saying these are six really good places. It, exactly. So let's get to the list. Your first choice. Great Lost Bear in Portland. Exactly. And again, this goes right to what I was just saying. I mean, I've been here like with my grandmother when I was 10, you know, like in my early 20s and like my mid 30s, late 40s. Like, how many restaurants can you say you've been to in that many phases? It's just like it never changes. Uh, I mean, they're known for their large beer selection. I honestly don't even really care for beer that much. I mean, I'm more likely, I remember being there at last call and ordering as my last drink, like a bottle of cheap red wine, uh, <laughs> you know, with a plate of super nachos. But it's just like comforting and it's the great last bear. It's like, yeah. you know, it, it's fantastic. Another place in Portland that is a classic, and it's not far from the Great Lost Bear, Bruno's. Yeah, keeping it Forest Avenue with us. So, <laughs> restaurant I, Row. Yeah, Restaurant Row, the new Restaurant Row. <laughs> so, yeah, Bruno's is another one. It's like that kind of classic family Italian restaurant, you know, red sauce joint, like great like eggplant parm, like really great steak and cheese sandwich. Um, I mean, I remember when it used to be Eric's on Market Street back mm -hmm. in the day. I mean, this place has been around for a while. You know, if I want to run into somebody I went to high school with, Pretty sure I can do it at Bruno's. Uh, just again, like just consistent. I know what I'm getting, and it's comforting. You know. Well, the next choice is maybe a place where we're not going to run into our old high school buddies. <laughs> it's the Astaku Inn oh. in Northeast Harbor, an elegant place that uh, has been around for I don't know how long, but truly decade after decade after decade. Yeah, and it's just that, you know, quintessential main. And I'm not going to use the word classic again. I'm going to refrain from using classic again. I've said it like six <laughs> times. Uh, you know. If you want your like chowder and you know people who uh, they have popovers, people who love popovers are obsessed with popovers, yes. and you know they have other things on the menu, but it's like people are like oh I love the popovers there, and then they have the Azalea Garden, and if you if I'm comfortable risking cardiac arrest, I'll make the climb up to the Thuya Garden, which is up the hill, and it's gorgeous. I mean it's just a beautiful property. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely it's a lovely setting, great views, the whole thing. It feels like old time Maine, time or Maine the way it used to be, a place that actually hasn't changed that much, and which hasn't changed its menu a whole lot, I'm confident. Wasses in Belfast and Rockland. Yeah, if Wasses changed, I think that there would be riots. There would be a revolution. Yeah, I mean, hands down, it's my favorite hot dog. I mean, they, they fry them on the griddle in peanut oil. Uh, I'm a purist, I just like mustard on mine. It's the kind of thing, it's like I could eat 20 of them, I usually keep myself to like three. Somebody one time suggested we went there, they're like, oh, we'll just, you know, get three and share one. And I looked at them like they had three heads. I'm like, are you insane? Like you're gonna share a Wasses hot dog? I mean, everybody knows what I'm talking about if you've been to Wasses, uh, you know, it's so good. Astaku Inn is a place with a great setting. Another restaurant with a beautiful setting is the Dolphin Marina in Harpswell. Yes, so again, waterside views. Um, easier to reach by boat, I think, than yes. by car. Yeah, it's, it's probably a like lot of people. 15 minutes from Portland rather than 45. Um, but again, you know, just panoramic views of the water. They have a lot of, you know, different, you know, kind of higher end menu items like seafood risotto and, and whatnot. But also it's like they're really known for like, you know, their things like their chowder and lobster stew come with instead of like dinner rolls, they come with these blueberry muffins, which are just so delicious. And you wouldn't think that'd be good, but it's awesome. It's a great combination. Yeah. I've had it many times and the yeah. blueberry muffins are first rate. Yeah, because they're all muffin top, and that's the best part. You know, it's like you want the big top. Let's end with Ken's Seafood Place on Pine Point yep. in Scarborough. Yeah, so fried seafood, you know, everybody has their favorite. Even with Pine Point, there's like five, you know, four or five different places. Everybody has their, their favorite. I've always liked Ken's uh, since I've been going to, to, to Pine Point. Uh, just really good, I, you know, that's where you kind of learn the difference between like, you know, was it batter or crumb when you're, when you're ordering the, the seafood. Uh, the long lines you don't mind are they're phenomenal kind of legendary yeah they're incredible that's when i when i leave maine for any period of time that's the food that i'm craving when i first get back like something like that with like a mason jar full of tartar sauce and just kind of go for it and yeah ken's is you can't go wrong with ken's
Six restaurants, we'll use the word just one more time, all classics, and that'll be the last time we say it. We're done. Joe Riccio, <laughs> a pleasure as always. Thank you so much. Absolutely. If you'd like to see that full list and get more information on Joe, just head to the 207 section of our website or app and stick around, because we're going to be back right after this.